For this problem, we're going to find the inverse of a non-singular matrix. We're going to do this algebraically. Here we're given this non-singular matrix A. To find the inverse, we first want to augment this matrix with an appropriate identity matrix. Since we have a 2 by 2 matrix here, we're going to use a 2 by 2 identity matrix. So we're going to rewrite our matrix A. And then we augment that with a 2 by 2 identity. We're going to perform row operations on this matrix so that we can get the identity matrix instead of A over here. And we're going to do the operations on the entire row, and so we'll end up with our inverse matrix on this side. First thing we want to do is get a 1 in this first row, first column entry. To do that, we say our new row 1 will equal 1 third times our old row 1. So we need to multiply this first row by 1 third. 1 third times 3 gives us our 1. 1 third times 2 is 2 thirds. 1 times 1 third is 1 third. 0 times 1 third is 0. And we haven't done anything to our second row, so we'll just rewrite that. Next, we want to get a zero in the, the second row first column entry. To do that, our new row two will equal negative five times our first row and add it to our second row. We're not changing our first row, so we're going to rewrite that. One, two thirds. One third, zero. Now we need to perform this operation. Negative five times one is negative five, plus five gives us zero. Negative five times two thirds is negative ten thirds. If we add that to four, or four is twelve thirds, we end up with two thirds. Negative five times one third plus zero is negative five thirds. Negative five times zero plus one is just one. And we'd like to get a one in our second row, second column. So we're going to say our new row two is equal to three halves times the current row two. We're not changing our first row, so we rewrite that. One, two thirds, one third, zero. And now we need to perform this operation. 3 halves times 0 is still 0. 3 halves times 2 thirds is 1. 3 halves times negative 5 thirds is negative 5 halves. And 3 halves times 1 is 3 halves. Now we're almost done. All we need to do is get a 0 in this 1, 2 entry here, up this opposite diagonal. To do that, we're going to say our new row 1 is equal to negative two-thirds times row two plus row one. We're not changing row two, so we're going to rewrite that. Zero, one, negative five halves, three halves. Now we need to perform this operation. Negative two-thirds times zero plus one Sorry, is still positive one. Negative two thirds times one plus two thirds is zero. So now we have our identity matrix. Negative two thirds times negative five halves, two negatives make a positive. We'll end up with five thirds plus one thirds is six thirds, which is two. Negative two thirds times three halves, that's negative one, plus zero is negative one. Since we have our identity matrix here, this matrix that we've augmented becomes our inverse matrix. So A inverse is equal to 2, negative 1, negative 5 halves, 3 halves.